Cheers. Welcome to Shopsake Travel. I'm Luke Martin, and today I'm in beautiful El Nido, Palawan, here in the Philippines. This place is world famous for its beaches. It's a holiday destination, and it's not very famous for its food. But there is one food that I've come here to try today, and that is tamalok, which is a unique type of mollusk found here in Palawan in the Philippines. It's known to be uh, quite strange looking, and it's uh, definitely something unique that I've never tried before. So the plan today is head into the mangroves where you can find the tamalock, harvest some of them, try them out, and also I think we're gonna be cooking some as well. It's gonna be a really special episode. I've had a lot of requests to try tamalock. I don't know what to expect, but it's gonna be a fun day. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go find and eat some tamalock. So I'm with uh, Rod, my guide today, and uh, Mr. Romeldo. This is his family and this is his home. Yeah. So we're going to be going out together, yeah. hiking into the mangroves. Yes. And uh, how, do you, how do you eat the worm, Rod? We can use, uh, what's that, lemon. Lemon, yeah. Yeah. Vinegar? And, yeah, or vinegar. Okay. But he said it's much better to use uh, pin, um, lemon. But you're eating it raw, right? Yeah. Raw. Okay, I'm so we're going to try it raw. <laughs> And then we're gonna bring some back here and, and cook it too. Yeah, we you can cook it. it. Yeah. Ah, you've got the calamansi. Yeah. <laughs> right here, ready to be eaten right in the mangroves. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes good. Yeah. Yeah. Set up. Set up. So Mr. Romeldo's house is right on the edge of where the mangroves grow, and they go all the way until it hits the sea. And right now it's about 1 p.m. It's low tide, so we're able to walk down into the mangroves. Otherwise, there'd be too much water. making our way through the mangroves here. Um, this is quite a unique environment. I'm sure there's all kinds of creepy crawlers in here, but we are looking for some rotten mangrove trees because that's where you find the tamalock worms. They're actually a mollusk, but people call them wood worms because they live inside the wood. <laughs> this is not easy going. The mud is thick, about knee deep in the mangroves here. It's pretty cool because this is brackish water, half salt and half fresh water. And not far from here are some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Yet, here I am, knee deep in mud in the mangroves, going to find a worm to eat raw. Sometimes I question my life. But I hope you guys like the video. This very well might be the most crazy place I've ever gone for a meal. Oh man. Oh, it's loaded. There's a lot in there. Para por cada canta cada muy para no jugar así. Salvo un poquito ahí.
So Mr. Ronaldo just found some fallen uh, mangrove, some kind of half rotten trees and uses his ax to chop them wide open. And these things are absolutely packed full of tamalock. You can see why they call them a worm because they do look like a worm, but it's not, it's actually a mollusk. And they create these holes in the wood. They kind of burrow themselves into that rotten mangrove wood. And <laughs> we hit the gold mine. There's a ton of tamalock. Loaded. Yeah, wow, that is huge. But we have uh, much more bigger here. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, wow. this is the <laughs> absolute biggest one yeah. that uh, Mr. Ronaldo nice. found. Yeah, they do have a little shell at the bottom, right. and just that check is, out the yeah. size of that. That's like a foot long. Oh, that's more than a foot long. Oh, my. Can you eat this raw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> And look at okay. look at all these right here. This thing is just packed oh, full of them. Some people say they call it the longest oyster in the world. I can see why now. It is kind of like an oyster looking. Oh, I'm gonna eat this. Yeah. Good. <laughs> he says it's good. It's good. Woo! <laughs> Set up. All right. Set up. Yeah. Woo. All right. Ah, katawanya para yung mga kinain niya na ano, yung ganun, yun, yan ang ano niya. So they're full of mud and dirt because they eat that rotten wood and he's cleaning them out right now. Use the little piece of the bone oh, or the dito. shell to yeah, kind of slice dito. it open and yeah. clean out all that uh, gunk and of course they've yeah, offered me yeah. the biggest one. <laughs> uh, five minutes. Yeah, sir. He said he, oh. he created uh, yeah. in five minutes oh. uh, after the cleaning of the yeah. woodworm. Uh, it uh, create uh, yeah. oh, it yeah. starts to create like a slime around it. Oh. So it actually starts to secrete a slime around it after it's uh, taken out of the wood after about five minutes, he said. And so I think it's just eaten with a little bit of calamansi. No vinegar? No vinegar, much better the calamansi. All right, yeah. calamansi is much better. I thought we were gonna have a lot of vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> This bone, yeah. Yeah. we're using this bone to uh, to clean the the tamilok like this one. Yan, non, yeah. Oh, so you use oh. the shell to get the oh, mud out. Yeah. What did you just tell me? It's good for what? It's good for a hangover. Good for hangover. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be better if I was really drunk. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Do you want to put some chili? Yes, please. So he squeezed some calamansi in there and we're gonna kind of let it sit and marinate and uh, hopefully kill off anything else that's living on it uh, for about five minutes and also some chilies. I asked for extra chilies. Time has come. No more stalling. <laughs> Mr. Romaldo and I are yeah. going to try one out. So, oh, no, oh what? We're going to try some of the, I guess, just a little bit of the kind of slime, slimy water. Mm. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. That's what I want. Gonna go. Yeah. My finger. Oh. I got to go for the big one. Yeah. Cheers. That's the texture. That is a texture. Ooh, spicy sweetness coming from, I guess, just the woodworm itself. Because it's actually very sweet. I'll go for another bite. Want another one? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that is unique texture for sure. It's halfway between like purely slimy and like an oyster. What an experience. Thank you. Set up. Set up. Wow. Rod, is this your first time? It's my second time. Second time? Yeah, yeah, it's my second time. 
This one is very serious, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hmm. It's much better that I uh, have a chili. Uh, chili. Mm -hmm. I agree. I heard a story from my friend Keith. I don't know how true the story is, but the name Tammy Lock comes from an American couple that uh, once saw the woodworm and he said to his wife, Tammy, look. <laughs> Apparently, that's the name. Is it true, Ron? I don't know. I just heard that just now. <laughs> I, I definitely can't verify that story. I guess we're gonna cut up some more uh, mangrove and take the rest of our uh, harvest back. Uh, to Mr. Romaldo's house and try to cook them into a dish called paksu. Wow. Oh, yeah. He said, uh, if the tummy look uh, so hard to uh, get on the on the wood, you have to hit you, the wood. You, yeah, to hit the wood. Uh, okay, so they side fall out. Side, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is the whole uh, tummy lock. Mm, okay. With this one and also the shells. Mm -hmm. How much money can you get for like one kg of tummy lock? One kilo? One kilo? Yeah. Magkano po? Mga isang kilo niyan, mga magkano? Basu itu angkon itu. Actually, uh, they're gonna say like uh, one glass. One glass. One glass of tamilok. It's about eighty. Eighty pesos. Eighty pesos. 80. Okay. Yeah, 80 pesos. So, well, that big one is that like one glass or no? No. I think it's uh, we need like ten pieces of. Oh wow. Okay. All right. That was the tamilok hunt. Super cool. Now for the the hard part, the scarier part, to be honest. Climbing back through the mangroves. It's like an obstacle course. Every single one of these is like booby trapped. Some of them break. Some of them have little splits in them and your feet fall through. Mr. Romaldo is a gentleman <laughs> helping me out. <laughs> Thank you. We are back in Mr. Romaldo's house and we're preparing the tamilok to be cooked in paksu style. So he started with a little bit of calamansi on top of the tamilok, kind of marinate them in the uh, calamansi and then some tomatoes and then some diced onions and then a little bit of coconut vinegar and some soy sauce. And now he's going to actually steam the tamilok and cook it that way. It just takes about five minutes. It's actually starting to look like food now. <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit appetizing. Some seasoning, a little bit of salt. Five minutes. So just a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of salt to finish it off and then right into the pot on the charcoal and just cooks away for about five minutes. You don't need too long. We just ate it raw. If you cook it too long, it'll become rubbery. So the paksu is finished. I'm sitting down with uh, Mr. Romaldo and his family of seven here, and you can see that they've 
uh, kind of gotten this unique texture now to them. It looks more like, I would say, like a squid uh, than it did before. And then I've got a piece of tomato here and have it with some of the rice. You can smell all that, uh, all that soy sauce that was in there and that coconut vinegar. Let's try it out. Cooked uh, tamalok. This is the only way they'll cook it because usually you just eat it raw or pax you. Mmm. Mmm, the flavor. It's good. <laughs> Can't say it's my favorite ingredient in the world, but it's definitely edible. It's good. It's almost like an oyster, but it's its own unique thing for sure. Mm. Yum. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it guys. for today's episode. Huge thank you to oh, Mr. Yeah. Romeldo. Thank you so much. <laughs> he was a champ. He helped me through the mangroves and uh, cooked me up some delicious tamalok. Yeah. Delicious. Tamalok. Sarap. Yeah. Sarap. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Huge thank you to Rod as well. His channel will be down in the description box. You can go check it out. Thank you, Rod. <laughs> thank you, Sergio. <laughs> yeah. See you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye bye. Hey, well.